This is a TF Source video review of Perfect Effect Warrior Type R and F. There are not many Transformer debates that run much deeper than the age-old truism, Frenzy is blue, Rumble is red, also denoted to F-I-B-R-I-R. Many an internet flame war has erupted defending the colors of these small Decepticon punks. The dispute has risen from a discrepancy between the original Generation 1 cartoon and the toy depictions of each character. Over time, in many subsequent toy releases, evidence has sided with the proper coloration of Frenzy being blue and Rumble being red, to the dismay of cartoon supporters. Regardless of your disposition on the matter, third-party toy manufacturer Perfect Effect has released a two-pack of the Warrior-type figure in very Frenzy and Rumble-ish colors. Let's set aside our differences and prepare to kick tailgate! This red and blue Warrior gift set come packaged as a set in color-coded boxes from tfsource.com. Remove the protective sheath and cellophane and then you can get a good look at the nicely rendered CG images of the figures inside. The blue figure is labeled as PE01F and the red as PE01R. You can use your imagination to decipher what those suffixes stand for. Within each package is a slim blister tray and instruction foldout. Each figure has an identical instruction panel to the original Shadow Warrior type figure previously released. The blisters snugly encapsulate the robot mode figures and their accessories. The biggest surprise these warriors provide would be their size. These guys are tiny. Next to their figures of origin, they stand at least a whole head shorter. For being so small, these figures offer far more articulation than the average bot. Some incredibly humorous and limber poses can be achieved that leave most Generation 1 bricks sobbing in their mortar. The paint apps are well applied and the figures feel well made and very solid. Accessories include G1S backpack laser rifles, forearm pile drivers, and an additional handgun used as a connection point. The laser rifles and pile drivers must be combined in order to attach them to the forearms of the robots. Once attached, the warriors can achieve a once only dreamed of scenario, real life ground pounding cassetticons. This special ability seen repeatedly throughout the Generation 1 cartoon could unfortunately never be achieved by the original toys. Leave it to multiple third party hopefuls to solve this glaring deficiency with a variety of contraptions. The decision of what alt mode these characters should take on has been a problem in the modern era. Mini cassettes are a little bit outdated and Perfect Effect chose to use their figures as the additional firepower to fans project City Commander armor. In case your Shadow Commander wasn't packing enough heat, you can now add these double barrel cannons to his vacant missile slots. Attach the pistol to the underside of the cannon to create a handheld version of these Gatling guns. Shadow Commander isn't the only one that can partake in the upgrade. Figures like G1 Soundwave have just the right size fist holes to do some real damage. As one last added bonus, a half-hearted mini cassette mode can be fudged if you really have reserves about seeing your rumble bots as lowly firearms. It's hard to be a solid Soundwave collector without branching out into his Cassetticon minions, and these two third-party runts should be able to find a home alongside any other army of mini-tapes. Even now, Hasbro and Takara are planning a Generations gift set of both Frenzy and Rumble, so these may become a mainstay for fans of the characters. So just who is who? If you still really care about the answer to this question, perhaps you'd be best off getting a hold of the original Shadow version of this mold, or wait for PEO2 with the additional backpack. So next time a pesky trans fan tries to force their own version of the Transformers rainbow on you, show them your perfect effect warriors and tell them to take on someone their own size.